Okay, so I am here today talking to my friend who is staying at the shelter. Uh, tell me a little bit about yourself. How long have you been at the shelter now? I've been there for a couple of days, but I've been homeless for about eight months. You've been homeless for eight months? Yeah, eight months. Now, what happened that uh, led to you being homeless? I lost my apartment due to losing a job. So you were working and you lost your job? Yeah. And you ended up homeless? Yep. Okay. What has that experience been like, staying it's at been, the shelter? It's been long, rough, but I've learned a lot of things over eight months of being homeless. I learned who I can trust and who I can't trust. And the, I've made some friends, though. And uh, it's, been, it's been a good experience, good and bad experience. Good and bad? Yeah. Now, does your family know that you're staying at the shelter? Yeah, yeah, they're very supportive of, supportive of me, and they, I see them on occasion and talk to them every day on the phone. Uh huh. Now, I have known you for a while, right? Yeah, you've been known to me for what? Ever huh? since I've, for about eight months, I'd say. More than that. <laughs> uh, now, you were telling me about something that happened to you very recently, right? Yeah, I was having depression and real bad depression and suicidal thoughts and it landed me in the hospital. Now, how long were you at the hospital? I was there overnight. Okay. What does it feel like, uh, depression and those kind of things? Depression's more like a, makes you feel down, sad, sometimes scared, worried. You know, it, it depends on the person and how bad the depression can get. For me, it was, I was feeling sad and down and felt like I wasn't really doing what I was supposed to be doing or living up to standards that people put before me. Okay. And you said you had suicidal thoughts? Yeah, I thought about killing myself, but never actually had a plan to go through on any of it. Uh-huh. Now, how did you plan to do that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I really, like I said, I didn't really sit down and write out a detailed plan of I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. It's just the thoughts that made me worried to say, well, maybe I should go to the hospital and get some help for it. Okay. So you are getting help, right? Yeah. As, as we speak, I have people that are helping me through that and getting some medication and some stuff to help me with that. Okay. Now, what would you like to tell people going through depression and suicidal thoughts? What do you want them to know? Well, no matter what happens or what you go through, there's always somebody higher above you that's watching you. His name's Jesus. And I just encourage you to stay in your Bible and read his word, eat it up, because it will really help you. I know it's helped me a lot. Okay. Now, what do you want people to know about being homeless? It's really, if you have nowhere to go, it's rough, but if you can get to a shelter or a abandoned house or something, I would encourage to do that just to stay out, especially when it's getting colder out. It's For me, it's not, it's been a journey uh -huh. showing that I can do it and I have done things positive. Uh huh. Now, what kind of work were you doing before? I was a uh, warehouse work. I worked at Becker and Burger for about a year doing miscellaneous things, all uh -huh. kinds of different stuff. And then... You just lost your job, right? Yeah, I quit. Oh, you quit? Because it was getting too personal. Uh-huh. Okay. Now, going back to your depression um, and your hospital stay, do you feel you, you, do you feel better now? Yeah, I feel better now. I feel that I'm in a safe place with people that surround me, that love me and care for me and will help me. Okay. So right now you are at the shelter. Yep. Not the best place to be, right? But it's not the worst place either. Right. Now, so that is maybe not a great place to be, uh, but going back to your uh, childhood, was there or is there a happy moment for you that you want to share about? Yeah, I grew up in a typical family fighting here and there but my parents really they didn't divorce or nothing they just didn't really I don't know it's I, well most of my childhood was good nothing really 
it's better than others, but it's for the most part good. Now, is there a happy moment or a happy memory for you? Probably my sixth birthday when I got the cake that I wanted and all the presents that I wanted. Oh, wow. <laughs> sounds like a typical six-year-old yeah, kid. Yeah, get all but excited. Give me the give me the goodies and I'll be happy, right? Yeah, that's what I asked for, the goodies and the cake. Now, we just finished doing a workshop and um, I was asking some of the guys if they were willing to share a little bit about their testimony and some of them are a little shy, yeah. but you said, Miss Grace, I want to share my um, testimony. And so I thank you that you took the time that you weren't nervous about talking about what happened to you recently, uh, your depression. And, um, you know, I just pray, because I've known you for a while, I pray that God will continue to keep you lifted up, right? Yep. And that you continue wa walking that straight path and don't ever stray from God, right? Right, right. Now, is there any last thing you want to say to people about uh, anything? Just stay in the Word. That's all I can say. Just stay in the Word and He'll bless you. Okay. All right, sweet. So, I want to thank you again, okay? Well, thank you for the opportunity. All right, sweetie. Uh, I like to call you um, dumpling cheeks. <laughs> Look at his cheeks, folks. He's got little dumpling cheeks <laughs> right here. <laughs> and I'm making him <laughs> turn red. <laughs> and you always laugh when I call you dumpling yeah, cheeks. Yeah, I always get a kick out of it. <laughs> all right, sweetie. Thank you again, all thank right? You. Okay.